You can go somewhere. And get cheap sex any place. Come on, come on. You gonna go? My apartment is heating up right now, where that sun is. My apartment's on this side of the street. That sun is in the middle of the street now. It's on the middle of the street pushing to the other side. So therefore, it's beaming right down on my roof at this angle. Yeah, I told I said, it's nobody. There's no such thing as no soulmate and all that crap. That's all bullshit, man. I told her, I said, the love of God is in you. It's not out there somewhere. Because we was looking at the clouds this morning. One of the clouds was like a ship with like three, three sets of sails. And I was saying, love ain't out there. But when I say out there, I mean like anywhere outside of you. Anywhere outside of your existence. Love is inside. The love of God is in you. The love of the creator, God, however you want to put it. The universe is inside of her. She has a lot of that. That's why we're good with each other. So far... I accept her for what she is. She know what she is. I say, you a man eater is what you are. And that don't bother me. So I even have women like you living with me. But you wasn't bringing nobody in my house to do anything. You do whatever you want outside. And if we living together, we can't disrespect the home. That's how I feel about that. Whatever you do outside is your business. This don't make me get me sick. And we can coexist in the same space. No jealousy, no problems. Of course, we may get feel a little bit once in a while, but not enough to make shit go crazy and out of hand. Bills gotta be paid. That's all. Bills gotta be paid and no stealing. But it's hard to find someone like that these days. There ain't no woman that want to be by herself and living single and not bring people over. That's how my wife tried to play it. On my ex, call her my ex, because I ain't seen her in 10 years. Whew. Yeah, she's still playing a role because she's in another country. You know, it's like, I'm trying to tell this chick, we ain't in jail, I'm not in prison. She has problems getting in and out of this country, and I have problems getting in and out of that country for different reasons. And I told her, you can't go in this country. They're gonna ask you at the border, who you here, what are you doing here? You know, they're gonna see who bought the ticket. They're gonna see everything. They're gonna ask you where you going, who you gonna go see. They're going to catch you if you're lying. They're going to say, you're married. And you're going to say, yeah. She's going to say, yeah, I'm married. And they're going to say, well, there's another guy. Who is this guy? They're going to immediately accuse you of hoeing. They're going to immediately of sex trafficking. 
prostitution, they're going to uh, give you a warning or something. And then if you're trying to travel in and out of a country and you're married and your husband's name ain't on that ticket, or your name ain't on that ticket, and it's better be a round trip ticket, they're going to stop you for that. If it's not a round trip, first of all, and if it's a round trip, they're going to ask you, what do you do for a living? And if you say, I don't have a job, you're going to have a problem. Or if you say, I get disability, you're going to have a problem. They're going to say, how can someone like you with disability travel around to these countries? They're not going to let you. They're going to suspect you of doing illegal shit. You're going to fit the profile. And you're married? How long have you been married? 15 years. Well, I haven't seen him in 10 years. Well, who was this guy? How long do you know this guy? Where you met this guy at? What guy? The guy whose name was on the ticket. Who was he? Oh, he's just someone you fucking, huh? It's a trick, is what it is. Any, all of us know that. Any grown-up knows that shit. It's a trick. You're tricking online. No job, no money in the bank. Traveling. They're going to say, you're selling pussy. That's what they're going to say. They're going to say that in so many words. In so many words, they're going to say, you're selling pussy. That's how that's going to work. Because they're going to look up the other guy, too. They'll put it together. Well, I told you, it doesn't matter what you do. So we try not to talk about, well, she tried that bullshit on me before, but then she keeps calling and asking for money and stuff every so often. If you got a man or you got men or you hoeing, well, that's you for no money. Just work a little bit harder online. Take a few more chances. Hopefully, you don't run to the dude out of throw your heads in the woods and put your body in dumpsters all over the city. Try not to run in that guy. <laughs> Dumping your daughter. Offering to foster care. If I knew that chick was going to do that shit, I would never let my daughter go. I would have kept my, because I didn't, back then, I didn't believe in um, taking children from their mother. I said, I would never do that. That's what I said at first. I said, I would never do that. I would never take a child from her mom. I tell you, I'm always finding shit, look. Whatever this is. It's a medical thing. It says kind meds. I put this in my pocket. I just like the keychain part. Whew. Whew. I'm making it. And I still feel good. It's because I took this damn do rag off. I mean, it's that bandana off. Yeah, she calls me up yesterday, talking about, she didn't know what to say. And if I'm not talkative, if I'm not talkative, she doesn't stand a chance of me doing anything for her. It's when I get talkative. She knows the game. I just try not to um, have too much to say to her now. 
because I'm in communication with my daughter and this foster the mom. We're tight. We're tight already. My baby's laptop broke like a year and a half ago. And she says, my daddy ain't give me another one. <laughs> and then she didn't tell me anything. And she waits for a year and a half to pass by, or maybe two years, and then tells me. Sends me pictures of a broken laptop and all this other crazy shit. And I told my daughter, don't sleep with no laptop in the bed because you're going to break it. And she did it. I can't get mad at her. She's a kid. I just get disappointed with her. I can't blame her because grown people be making that mistake too. So she's a kid trying. And that's the first one. And the other laptop I sent gave her, I think it was a netbook. No, it was a laptop. One of them, the battery ashed out. And the other one, and I told her, don't keep that power pack, the battery charger in the bed with you. Cause it's gonna swell up and pop and start a fire maybe. And that one swole up. I think it did something to the battery too. Whatever. I gave her my laptop, which I don't even use. I upgraded it. It was 320 upgraded to 500 gigabytes hard drive. She's, it's enough for a 12 or 13 year old to make it through high school with. It's more than enough space. You can fit a bunch of degrees on a laptop. You can put a, you can fit a bunch of degrees on your phone. And then these days, you can get a, your PhD, you can put your whole PhD course and more on your phone. That's what it's gonna boil down to be sooner or later. Everybody think that memory means you're smart. That don't mean you're smart. That just means you got a good memory. A motherfucker sitting there counting cards got a good memory. That don't mean a motherfucker's smart. And he could count cards to take all your money. Or take all the money off the table. Just by seeing what's on board. That's why in the casinos they be using a whole bunch of packs of cards. You know, all together. It's a Cam Camaro SS. No, that's a plane. Yeah, so I had a pretty hard day. Then I got up this morning and said, I'm going to make it hard on myself. I had a hard day yesterday. So when I got up this morning, I said, fuck it. I'm going to make it hard today hard for myself. That's what people don't be doing. So when the hard time comes, they ain't shit. That's why I'll be out here in a hundred and something degrees. Because I'm doing it harder than myself for years. You're supposed to do that. So that when hard shit comes, it'd be easier. Yeah, so when hard shit comes, it'd be easier. Say if it was my car was to break down um, on 10 somewhere out in the desert and shit. I won't panic. Because I know I can make it out here for like three hours, four hours with no water too. So I'm just going to come along before that. So I know I won't even be stressed. That's like working out and lifting weights. You can push yourself so that if you go into a time of need, 
you need that strength for that little bit of time you got that explosive strength right there where if you was wasn't doing shit i ain't talking about no miracle bullshit with adrenaline you have adrenaline plus muscle and endurance that's what you want you want to put yourself in a hardened situation and it makes you hard And for my age, and the shit that I be doing, it's not many youngsters that be doing it. And very little older guys, my age and older. There's guys my age that's in better shape than me. It's a fact. Look better than me, shape better than me and everything. They ain't gonna last long. You're getting close to the finish line. It's gonna be hard just being in this damn house, man. Whew. See how the sun is right there? My place is over there. I'm gonna walk a few, quite a few days in a row now. I gotta take a rest, man. They're working on that roof next door to me. And building, well, that's building six, too. Yep, nobody called my phone. Office ain't open yet. They gotta get a guy up here, get my air conditioning. <clears throat> it's like those guys stopped working on the roof. They did like two thirds of the roof. You see up there? I wonder if they're gonna do my roof. I see fuck boy go to work. I'm gonna have to play loud music on him again when he starts just stomping around. There were the cops in the parking lot. See the roof up there, how they working on it? He's taking somebody's car. Cop parked in the parking lot. It's coming out. They go fuck, boy. I can hear him already. I'm done, y'all. Peace and love.